taking a walk around Mars or taking a flight through the human body. New advances in virtual reality can make you feel like you're an astronaut floating in space or a shopper swimming through your body making the best food choices. Tonight, Channel 2 reporter Ryan Korsgaard puts on his goggles to take you on a journey at Sharpstown High School. Uh, take a look. Uh, this is a key part of this lesson. Virtual reality goggles. They're called sugar goggles and they teach a lesson, maybe more of an experience. Sharpstown High School senior John Castano is flying through the human body. This is a virtual reality game helping him quickly make smart food choices. It was actually cool. I was kind of flying and picking up which ones uh, are better, like what kind of uh, vegetable should I eat. This is something called Sugar Goggles. The nonprofit Health Corps works with Atkins Nutritionals to bring the high tech tool into schools. When you put those goggles on, you're in a 360 degree environment. You can turn, you can go up and down, you're fully immersed. They're not alone. NASA uses virtual reality with the help of Microsoft to train astronauts for space travel and to virtually explore the surface of Mars using images already gathered by rovers. It's like you're, you know, you're not in the room anymore. You are on Mars. You, 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 you know, short of having uh, comm channels checking in with Houston or, you know, the the front panel of a of an astronaut's uh, helmet, it's like being there. Here, scientists can stand up, walk around, and even explore Mars in a 3D holographic world. It sure beats looking at flat photos. Back on Earth, virtual reality helps these students make real life decisions now. I learned that it's better if you eat healthy because you, go, you got more power. Virtual reality not only being used here in classrooms and space, of course, but also in industry, trying to show you what you can't always see. At Sharpstown High School, Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.